All right, welcome back to your seventh tutorial on how to create Excel documents. And finally, we'll start formatting cells, giving them background colors, fonts, and even different borders. So for that, we have to import, let's just import two things. So the most important thing we need to import is in the org Apache POI SS use model package and it's called the cell style and with the cell style we can create all sorts of different uh, you know preferences we can uh, assign it to you know uh, you'll see you'll see later so the second thing we want to import is also from the uh, Apache POI SS user model package and it's called the indexed colors so with the index colors, we can choose from different colors if we you know want to change the text color or background color. So let's create a style. For that, we only have to type in cell style. Let's call it style equals to, and we have to put it in in, in the workbook. So workbook dot create cell style. And with that, we basically created an object and call it style. And with that, we can uh, assign it different, uh, you know, background colors. Let it, let's just create the background color. So all we have to do is typing in style dot set background. No wait, set fill foreground color. And as a, par a parameter, it asks for a color, and of course we've imported the indexed colors. So we're just going to say indexed colors dot. And as you can see, there is a whole lot of different options we can choose from. You know, brown, blue, four different shades of gray. Oh, let's just go with I'll, I'll just go with blue dot get index. And one more thing we have to do is style dot set fill pattern, and with the fill pattern we can give it either a solid foreground or you know dotted or lined. So all we want to have is just a uh, solid foreground. So uh, we'll just type in cell style dot solid foreground. All right, so we just created our style, and the last thing we need to do is assign it to certain cells we wanted to apply to, and of course we created our cell up here, so we'll just say cell dot set cell style, and of course we'll set the style to our created style. So let's see how it changes our document. I'll just go ahead and run it. And no error messages. And as you can see, we have we have a cell with a beautiful blue background color. So let's see what could we do next. Um, let's let's change the font. So for that, we're just gonna have to um, set some content in there. Otherwise, we're not even able to see anything what changed. So I'll just say cell dot set cell value and let's set it to something like um, scrambled x. All right, so let's create a font and for that we have to import something. And I bet you can guess in which package that is. It's in the SS user model package and it is called the font so let's create one uh, I'll just do it right below the style and call it font font and like we put the style into the workbook we also have to put the font into the workbook so font font equals to workbook dot create font so let's see what we can do um, font dot set and 
as you can see we get a whole different uh, we get a, we get a whole lots of different options what we can do so I guess we'll just start with the color so let's set the color to uh, index colors dot um, I'll, I'll give it a yellow color dot get index okay let's see what we are what else we can do font dot set let's set the bold weight so let's make it bold uh, for that we have to type in uh, as a parameter font dot and then we can either set it to bold or normal of course we want it bold what else can we do font dot set uh, let's set it italic so now we have it bold and italic Whew. what else so font dot set let's make it a little bit bigger so set font height in points which is basically the normal font height you would see in you know normal uh, Microsoft documents and we have to cast the number to a, a short and let's give it something like uh, 16. I'll just give it 16. Okay, what else? Font dot set. Oh, <laughs> let's set it underlined. Set underline. And so let's set the underline to font dot. And then you can see it's uh, all the U double, U double accounting, U none, U single. So let's just set it to I'll just, let's set it to double. So we get a double underlined font. All right, one more thing, one more thing. What else can we do with the font? Okay, let's let's change the font name. So that's basically, you know, if we wanted to set it to Arial or whatever. We want to set uh, set it to. Um, let's give it. <laughs> I actually don't know all these different font names. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use Times New Roman. Oh well, actually I hate that font. I'll go ahead and use Helvetia. That's the only other one I just can think of. All right, so that's our beautiful font. We set the color to yellow, uh, and set it bold, italic, and under, uh, double underlined, and made it a little bit bigger. So uh, the last thing we need to do is put it into the style. So the way we're gonna do that is just by typing in style dot set font, and of course we created our font. So. Let's see how that evolved. I'll just go ahead and open up Excel. All right. So we've got beautiful scrambled X. The X is double underlined. It's italic. It's supposed to be bold, but I can't. Whoa, that's weird. So it's bold if it's not bold. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. So apparently it's bold and it's the font Helvetia. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's, last but not least, let, let's just change the uh, the border. So, that's, that's going to be, well, that's going to be easy as well. So I'll just do that right below the fill pattern. Uh, let's, change the border. So the way we're going to do that is by just typing in style dot set border and as you can see it asks for border bottom, border left, right and top. So I'll just change the border bottom to um, cell style dot border and as you can see we can either use uh, dotted or double. I'll just go ahead and use uh, thick. So we're gonna make a thick border and let's recolor it. 
So style dot set uh, bottom color, set bottom border color. So let's set the border button to uh, the border button color bottom bar blue. Dang it. <laughs> okay, sorry, this this tutorial is just getting ridiculous. Let's set the color to indexed colors dot and I'll just go ahead and use um, green dot to get index. Alright, so let's see how that turns out. And so I guess you can't you can't really see it, but it created a wonderful green bottom border. So all right, let, and let's also change the alignment of the text because it looks kind of weird if it's on in in there. Let's just center it. So. The way we're gonna do that is by typing in style dot set alignment and as a uh, as parameter we just type in cell style dot align and I'll just go ahead and you choose center. And let's see how that turns out. I'll open up Eclipse, uh, not Eclipse, test1.excel and as you can see it put it right in the center of the cell. Um, okay, uh, one more thing, let's let's also set it vert uh, vertically in the center. So, ah, dang it, don't save. All right. So that's going to be the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial. So let's style dot set vertical alignment and let's set it to cell style dot is it vertical? Ah, yeah, okay. So it's vertical center. But I guess that's all to this video. So it's you know it's a lot about experimenting. Uh, between the different, you know, the different options you can make, you know, changing the background color. So basically what you learned in this tutorial is how to, you know, how to change background color, how to change the font, how to change the borders and how to change the alignment of the text. So that's, that was a actually pretty big tutorial. Whew, that was a lot of talking. So... Hopefully you understood everything I did in there, so... Oh, that's all I have to say. Yeah. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and... Hope to see you soon again. Bye.